good evening and welcome one and all to the Cancer New Moon Circle here on 3HO Foundation Facebook Live. My name is Mary Dew and I am very grateful to be here as your host for this evening. So the Cancer New Moon, oh, wow, it's a very powerful new moon. I'm definitely feeling it. Um, Drop me a comment, let me know if you're feeling it as well. Cancer, uh, the theme for tonight is the idea of coming home and coming home to yourself, coming home to a new earth. And we'll talk a little bit more about what that's all about. It kind of feels like for the first half of the year, first six months that we've kind of collectively been holding our breath. It's been pretty intense and it feels like around this Cancer New Moon, maybe it's time for us to take a collective exhale. So let's do that together and kind of drop in for our circle this evening, maybe rock side to side. Find that connection with your sitting bones, connecting with the earth. If you're seated in a chair, plant both feet firmly on the earth. Maybe take your palms face down on your knees and adjust your grounding. And let's just kind of drop in with a couple deep collective breaths and powerful collective exhales. Close your eyes, roll them up to the third eye point with a deep breath in through the nose. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, lengthening the spine, dropping the shoulders, rolling the eyes up to the third eye point, exhale through the mouth on this first one, let it all go. <sighs> Let's do two more of those together, uniting our breath, another deep inhale through the nose, filling up the belly, the ribs, the chest, the lungs, the heart. And exhale, let this one go as well. <sighs> Releasing anything you don't need to this Cancer New Moon. Another deep breath in. And exhale. Dropping into the Cancer New Moon energy. It's the energy of the water element and the energy of flow and as a water sign, the first water sign of the zodiac, uh, this cancer energy can often bring up a lot of emotion. And so if you're feeling emotional, if you're feeling stuff coming up from the past, if you're feeling any fear around what's going on in the world or getting caught up in that, all of that can be brought up by the Cancer New Moon, and it's brought up in order that we can release it, in order that we can take a close look at it and let it go. And so new moons are generally a time of new beginnings, and the full moon is when we release, but actually it feels like there might be some stuff coming up around self, around home, around family that maybe needs to be released in order to make room for the new. And so let's kind of plant the seed of working on that as well this evening. I uh, was part of a group shamanic healing last night uh, online, and my teacher, Jose Stevens, re referred to this. Uh, this Cancer New Moon energy is an opportunity for an emotional reset. And I love that because it's, kind of what it feels like. We have an opportunity here to completely reset ourselves emotionally and also kind of reset our perspective. We can think about, uh, you know, cancer energy, home, family. We can think about who we are at our core, what our intuition says, who we are in our heart. We can think about where we live and the environment around us and how it supports us, and if it's not supporting us, we can think about calling in 
whatever we need to be better supported in that environment. And Cancer is also a very nurturing sign, very feminine sign of support. And we also think about whom we surround ourselves with. Think about that and think about why we are here and what our role is going to be or is or is evolving into in a new earth that is kind of unfolding, blossoming in front of us. So all of that is uh, kind of the energy we'll be in this evening. We'll be working together in this global moon circle. We do these global moon circles here on 3HO Foundation Facebook Live bi-weekly. Every two weeks we have either a new moon or a full moon. The moon takes about 28 days to go around the earth. And so every couple, every 14 days, we have either a new moon or a full moon. And the new moon is the beginning of a new 28 day cycle. And so we'll set our intentions this evening on this new moon. And we'll be in the energy of this new moon for uh, the moon, new moon is actually occurring at 9 16 p.m. Eastern time. So we usually do it the night before, but for tonight, we're really in it. We're really in that energy. It's just about an hour away, uh, whatever time that translates to wherever you are. And so as we set our intentions, we'll be in this new moon energy, usually. Uh, you know, about 24 hours before and after, it's the strongest, but it's really a 28-day cycle. And so as we set these intentions, give yourself a little more time and look at this whole month ahead and think about manifesting those intentions or implementing those intentions, integrating those intentions over this entire month to come and, and beyond because uh, it feels like we've been leading up to this. And as we collectively exhale, we're making room for the new to come in. So let's go ahead and open our global moon circle and we do so by calling in the directions. So wherever you are, take that comfortable seat. You can either close your eyes or keep your eyes open and face the different directions with me. I'm not going to stand, but I'm going to, uh, to point out the different directions in my orientation and maybe you can figure them out in your own as well. So take a deep inhale and exhale, turn and face the east. Welcome in the east to our circle this evening, the season of springtime and the element of fire. The East is the void where all things begin, new beginnings, infinite possibilities, and a new moon. We welcome the East to our circle this evening. Turn and face the South. The season of summer, the element of Earth, the direction of love, of beauty, of the heart, and the South is a container. And so we open this container of support, our global moon circle this evening, and welcome the south. Turn and face the west. A season of autumn, the element of water. Cancer is the element of water as well. The west teaches us about letting go and releasing anything that doesn't serve us. And so we'll open our hearts to doing that tonight as well and make room for the new to come in. And we turn and face the north. The season of winter, the element of air. The north is the direction of knowledge, wisdom. It's also the direction of power and vitality and action. So we welcome the north to our circle this evening. Take your hands up, your heart up, look up, and welcome Pachatata, Father Sky, to our circle this evening. We welcome this Cancer New Moon, all the stars, the clouds, the beauty of the sky, and the power of inspiration. Welcome to our circle this evening. Take your palms and your heart to the earth, and welcome Pachamama, our Earth Mother, Gaia. 
tools and welcoming a new earth is always there to support us, always there to ground us, and no time more important than now to stay grounded. Welcome Pachamama to our circle this evening. Bring the left palm to your heart center, place the right palm over the top, close your eyes with a deep breath in, and feel your sacred heart beating within that beautiful purple flame. Recognize that you are divine, that you are a part of the universe, one with all. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Connect your heartbeat with the heartbeat of the earth and with the heartbeat of each and every person in this global moon circle all around you. We are one. We are the container, and the container is open. Welcome to our circle this evening, our Cancer New Moon Circle. Rub the palms together at the center of your chest. And we'll tune in together with the Kundalini tune-in. Two-part tune-in, beginning with the Adi Mantra, Om Namo, Buddha Dei Namo, three times on three separate breaths. And then we'll take four sniffs of air in through the nose, go right into the Mangala Chata Mantra for divine protection. Ad Gude Name, Jugad Gude Name. Sat Gude Name, Siddhi Guru Deve Name. Again, three times, three separate breaths. Press the palms together at the heart center. Close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye point. And take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, release the breath. And let's inhale to begin. Deep inhale. Take the backs of the wrists to the knees, palms up on the knees in a gesture of receptivity. Opening up to the divine feminine energy, that receptive energy, the energy of this Cancer New Moon, the energy of spirit, the back body, where the grace comes in. Take a deep breath into the heart. Drawing the breath in through the back of the heart, being open and receptive. Exhale. And repeat to yourself three times, either silently or out loud. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. Pause here with a deep breath. Breathing in and out through the nose from now on in equal parts. Expanding on the inhale. Drawing the navel back to the base of the spine to press the breath out on the exhale. And just give yourself permission for the next 45 minutes or so to just allow yourself to be right here, right now present in this moment in our global moon circle. So I'd like to draw a card for us, our collective, our group here, and I chose the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I love this deck. And the card that I drew for us for this evening is da, 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 number 20. This is beauty, 
beauty number 20 queen of the moon oracle and here's what it says about beauty beauty is like medicine it can heal even the most broken spirit beauty is everywhere in nature just look around. Beauty comes in many forms and we can choose to find it. Rid yourself of clutter and what you find disagreeable. Love how you look and repeat this affirmation. I see beauty everywhere and it raises my vibration. I see beauty everywhere and it raises my vibration. Another kind of theme that comes up around this Cancer New Moon is the idea of healing old wounds. Perhaps with this energy on the planet right now, you've got emotions coming up from the past and old wounds can come up. And so I wanted to share another quote with you that I found, uh, this was in a new moon update from Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. I really love her website and her updates and uh, you can check her out, foreverconscious.com. Her name is Tanaz. And she said, with this Cancer New Moon, we are seeking wisdom from our old wounds and learning to use the energy of that wisdom to move forward. When we do that, healing organically occurs. I'll read that again. We are seeking wisdom from our old wounds and learning how to use the energy of that wisdom to move forward. When we do that, healing organically occurs. Just beautiful. You know, these old wounds that we carry around with us, sometimes we don't even realize they're there. And then, you know, they'll come up out of nowhere or Perhaps a pattern will surface in our other relationships. And, you know, can we use this new moon energy to take a look at some of those old wounds? And, you know, maybe they're partially healed. Maybe there's something calling to you if it's coming up that still needs a little bit of healing, a little bit of release. And a lot of times this can be things from our childhood. And with this Cancer New Moon energy also relating to family, can we take a look at our relationships perhaps with our parents and with our families from childhood and take a look at our inner child and what that child might still need in the way of healing or what wounds might still be there in order to be able to release them. So just kind of plant the seed of that and while you're in this energy, you know, think about are there any old wounds that need your attention? Is there anything that your inner child is calling for that might need your attention and that might need to be released in order to heal, clear, and make room for the new? We take a look at all of our relationships right now. Are there any, perhaps, you know, more more recent wounds that we can heal and nurture around our partnerships, our relationships, our community, and tap into that Cancer New Moon energy around that, around you know, nurturing and, and relationships and partnerships and community. Can we also take a look at uh, anything that needs to be healed or anything that's stuck in our home environment? Or perhaps that also you know, carries over into our vehicle, uh, whether that's a bicycle, whether that's a car, whether that's a truck, or you know, however you get around, does that vehicle support you? Or is the back seat messy and covered in dog hair and you meant to clean it and you never did. You know, maybe this weekend you can take a little time to support yourself, nurture yourself by cleaning up that environment or in your home. Are there places to declutter? You know, in your heart, 
are there places to declutter? Think about all of that in order to create space to plant the seed for new intention. And so as we create that space, as we clear and heal, it helps sometimes to move the energy around. That's how we clear. That's how we heal. So let's just move around a little bit and do whatever you feel here. If you feel like right now you just want to sit here, you want to pause, you want to meditate on what we just talked about and just breathe deeply, that's totally fine. If you want to move around with me, I encourage you to give that a try as well. So take a deep breath in. And we're gonna come into an intense toe stretch to start us off. You know, we, I feel like we still, you know, we've moved through a lot of the stagnancy of last year, but I think sometimes we're not, still not moving around as much as we used to move around. And so our feet sometimes need a good stretch. So come. Tuck your toes under behind you, come onto your knees, and then sit back on the heels, and you'll feel that, spread the toes wide, you'll feel that intense stretch in your toes. If it's too intense, you can sit up, you can tuck the toes under, and you can come sitting in rock pose, but if this works for you, just give this a try. We won't stay here very long, but it's really good to stretch the toes, spread the toes wide, sit back on the heels, bring the hands, palms down on the knees, close the eyes, nice and long and tall, straight spine, straight neck, take a deep breath in, and feel yourself expand with the breath, this belly expands, follow the breath from the base of the spine, all the way up through all seven chakras, and up and out through the crown, deep breath in. And then slowly exhale through the nose, keeping the length in the spine, but follow the breath as it comes back in through the crown chakra and spirals back down the spine, down through the roots, send it down to the earth, send that light down. Draw the navel in to press the breath out. Another deep inhale. Imagining yourself as a conduit between the earth and the sky. Drawing the earth energy up, sending it up to the sky. Drawing the light in from above, send it back down to the earth. Breathe deeply here for just a couple more breaths. And then go ahead and sit back on the heels in rock pose or come sitting in the easy pose if that's more comfortable for you. Make sure you get your sitting bones situated on the heels, palms back to the knees. We're just going to begin by moving the neck a little bit. So inhale the head to the left, exhale head to the right, inhale, and exhale. Breathing in and out through the nose in equal parts, keeping the head and chin low. Inhale left, exhale right. Keep moving, keep breathing. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Breathe. to center, take a deep breath in, focusing on the third eye point, keep inhaling, keep inhaling, drop the shoulders, and exhale, drop the right ear to the right shoulder, and then inhale back, exhale forward, take it very slowly as you warm up the neck. Exhale forward. Releasing the tension that you might be holding in the neck and the shoulders. You tend to hold a lot of tension here. Let it go. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Come back to center. Deep breath in. Sit tall. 
Exhale, drop the left ear to the left shoulder. And then inhale back. Exhale forward. Take it in the other direction. Center, take a deep breath in, roll the eyes up, exhale, and now try something with me. I was doing this earlier and it felt really good with my neck. See if you can take your chin and your face and kind of make an infinity sign. So kind of drop down and circle kind of over to the left and over and then come down to the right and then up and down to the left. Up to the left, down to the right, up to the right, forming a figure eight, almost as if you were tracing a figure eight with your nose. Very gentle. Keep breathing. Visualize that infinity sign. And remember, believe, you are infinite. Now take a deep breath in, last piece, and we'll take it in the other direction. So inhale, up to the left, and then down to the right, up to the right. Oh wait, I'm going the same way, sorry. Up to the left, down to the left, and then up to the right, down to the right. Tracing that infinity sign in the other direction. Good, come back to center, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Begin to bounce the shoulders. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep that third eye focus, shaking out any tension. Just one minute. Inhale the shoulders up to the ears, deep breath in. Exhale them slowly back down. And go ahead and come back into easy pose. Maybe take the legs out in front of you, shake out the heels, shake out the legs. Up and down. Sit back in easy pose. Good. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. It's always good to move the body around. If you ever find that you get into a place where you're feeling stuck or you're feeling you know, the chaos of the outer world pushing in on you, you can always pause and just move the body around even gentle subtle movements like what we just did just some some neck rolls the infinity sign the shoulders even just that will shake up the energy enough to clear it for you help you get that reset so let's talk a little more about the cancer new moon and so with the new moon the moon and the sun are in the same sign, 
and it's the beginning of that cycle. And so right now the moon, the feminine energy, is in Cancer with the sun, which is a masculine energy. And so with new moons, there's definitely an element of balance. And whatever the energy is around the sign of the new moon, in this case, the Cancer sign, you're seeking balance between the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself and the energies. And so if you can take a look at it in that way, you know, again, the energies of, of the cancer sign, a lot of times it could be a private, a personal sign. So balancing your own personal masculine and feminine energies and really going within to what might be hidden within you that only you know. And going inside to balance that out. Because right now, this moon is really asking you, what do you need at this time? This moon encourages you to nurture, first and foremost, yourself. Think about, as you're stepping forward into this energy of a new beginning, you're stepping into the energy of a new opportunity, a new void, a new place where you can, you know, manifest or create whatever you want. What is it that you need in your life at this time? And what also are you willing to let go of and release? We go through these cycles, and like I mentioned a little earlier, uh, you know, a lot of times we call in new intentions on the new moon, and we release on the full moon. Um, I saw something today, uh, not long before I uh, came in here to get ready for the circle, and uh, it was Soup Dave Jackson, who you guys probably know uh, from the Kundalini world, a wonderful teacher, singer, and uh, spirit guide and inspiration. And she was talking about, with this new moon, uh, the idea that, you know, usually we have this new intention ritual. We set a new intention around the new moon, which we will do that as well. But she was suggesting looking at what you can release, which is kind of what I've been, you know, hinting at as well here. Uh, you know, we push ourselves so hard and we get sometimes to a state of overwhelm before we will pause and take a break. Uh, especially in Western society, it seems that we are all so driven and, and encouraged to go, 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 do, 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 get it all done. And we end up feeling like we're not enough. We end up feeling like we need to do more, we're not doing enough. And I challenge you this evening to take a look at that, or, or this morning, wherever you are in the world, um, to take a look at, you know, where are you maybe pushing yourself too hard to the point of overwhelm, and what can you let go of? What is important, what is truly important, and what really is not? And allowing yourself to really clear and really let go of all the excess stuff, anything you don't need. Like I mentioned, in your you know, home environment, declutter, clear it all out in your mind, clear it all out in your body. You know, just be good to yourself and simplify and get in touch with who you really are, who you want to be, how you want to show up in the world, and then let the rest of it go anything you might be holding on to. As we, you know, release on the full moon and set an intention on the new moon, I know that I've noticed a pattern and I've talked to other people that have seen this pattern as well. A lot of times we'll find ourselves kind of setting the same intention every month or so and, and releasing the same thing every month or so. And, and what's that about? You know, if we release it, we gotta really let it go. Sometimes we release it, or we say we want to release it, and we don't really release it. So my challenge for this evening is to take a look at where we have resistance and where we can tap into really
really releasing that resistance. If anything's coming up from the past, this is such a key, beautiful, awesome time to let it go on this new moon, on this Cancer new moon. Let that water energy of the Cancer new moon float it away, take it away once and for all. And in order to do that, we have to be really honest with ourselves. What is it we're holding on to that we really want to let go of? And can we say, you know, I call it the, uh, but wait moment. You know, you release it to the full moon and then you're like, but wait, you know, and you, and you start to think, oh, but maybe I really do want that. And, and you maybe don't let it go. And, um, Think about whether that applies to you or not. And if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. But I think a lot of us, um, you know, we have all good intentions and we want to let go of that, you know, that habit, that pattern, that toxic relationship, that, that place where we're clinging to something in the past. But the challenge is to really let it go. And that allows us to move forward. That allows us to step forward into this beautiful new earth that's unfolding before us. And this new earth, a new earth, you've probably been hearing that term. I've been hearing it bounced around in the spiritual community. Cancer is also a very spiritual sign, challenges us to go deep into spirit. And this new earth where we are really in touch with the earth, connected with the earth, we are working for the earth and the earth is supporting us and it's this symbiotic relationship where we are one with the earth and we are one with each other. And no matter what chaos is going on right now in the outside world, I challenge you to keep coming back, keep coming back to this vision of your new self, who you want to be, and the idea of coming home to a new earth, coming home to yourself. Let the Cancer New Moon support that for you. So, wow, I know that's kind of a lot. Just kind of take it in, maybe take a deep breath in, close your eyes, come back to that space. Let's bring our left palm to the heart center, right palm over the top with a deep breath into the heart. Exhale, through rounded lips, let it go. And take a moment to pause here and tap into your heart. Tap into your intuition. This moon is also all about trusting yourself and looking at where perhaps you have not been trusting yourself and can you start to trust yourself come into that energy of trust. What might you be holding on to that might be blocking you from your new self, from this beautiful new earth, from this trust? Sometimes if you make an intention to let something go and you don't let it go, you beat yourself up about it. Let that go. Let that resistance go. Don't beat yourself up about anything. Allow yourself to be kind to yourself first and foremost, to nurture yourself, calling in that feminine nurturing energy of this Cancer New Moon. And be very honest with yourself. Let it go. Once and for all, what are you willing to let go of? And what are you calling in? Place that new intention in your heart with a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out the mouth, let it go. And allow that heart space to become open, to become fertile, for you to plant those seeds of intention. And we'll come right into our meditation this evening. And for our meditation for this evening, I was actually inspired by Nam Huddy. You all might also know Nam Huddy uh, from 3HO Tantric Numerology. You can sign up for her monthly forecast, the Tantric Numerology forecast, through the 3HO website at 3HO.org. 
and uh, she suggested this particular meditation. It's called Get Rid of Your Couldn't. Get Rid of Your Couldn't. And I'm also following that up with Release Your Resistance because that's kind of what we're doing as well. Anything that's blocking us, any place where we feel like we can't do something, couldn't do something, uh, know that there are no limits except those that we place upon ourselves and allow ourselves to release those limits. So for this meditation, come sitting in easy pose, come sitting nice and tall. So sit tall, almost like the Lord Buddha himself. Take a deep breath in, exhale, bend the elbows and our mudra. Take the middle finger and cross it over the back of the index finger, almost like you're crossing your fingers, like you're wishing for something. And then fold down the Saturn finger and the Mercury finger, the ring finger and the pinky, and hold those down with the thumb. And bring the elbows out to the sides. You want to have the mudra right about at your ear level. We're going to hold it here. Eyes are closed. Roll them up to the third eye point. And very simple, we're just going to begin to chant HUD. And find that rhythm, moving the navel as you chant the HUD, draw the navel back to the base of the spine, try to keep it constant and consistent. 11 minutes. Let's do it. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Into infinity, the seat of your intellect. 
intuition. Trust yourself. Hug, 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 hug. If you're feeling any resistance coming up, keep letting it go. Hug, 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 hug.
Honey. Deep breath in through the nose, really fill up. Drawing the breath down deep into the belly. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, hold it. Just pause here, coming back to this posture, this gesture of receptivity, being open to receive. Notice how you feel. Notice if perhaps something has shifted. couldn't is gone. The resistance is gone. Just allow it to go. I'll close our circle for this evening with a reading. I like to read the new moon updates, full moon updates from the Power Path from my dear friend, teacher, wonderful healer, singer, artist. Her name is Lena Stevens, and you can find these updates at thepowerpath.com. Get on their free email list. Here's what she says about the Cancer New Moon. This is a powerful new moon for starting something new. Look for an explosion of creativity, artistic energy, that can be harnessed for new ideas, exciting possibilities, we are inspired to move forward and to build new containers for an improved life that includes more love, support, intimacy, and well-being. It is an excellent time to revisit intentions and refine them to include recent insights into what you need. There's also a need to consider others that may require some kind of compromise in relationships. See this as an important part of cooperative community and partnership instead of as a loss of freedom. We are moving into a time when acting on your own will not bring you the same satisfaction as a task or vision shared with others. This is a challenging time for those not, not accustomed to asking for help. Your bid for power, then, would be to seek help, support from others, and to trust that they have your best interests in mind. Share your inspirations. Share your intentions. Acknowledge that you are part of the bigger collective. It's a wonderful time for nurturing yourself, thinking about what you need, and also looking at your relationships with others, nurturing others, your partnerships, your relationships, the idea of compromise, creativity, artistic expression, all of that is strong energy around this Cancer New Moon that you can harness right here, right now. So take the left palm to the heart center, bring the right palm over the top, take a deep breath in, coming back to your intention. What are you letting go? What do you feel coming in? 
and you don't have to answer right here, right now. Just stay in this energy. The, the peak of the uh, new moon is actually happening in, happening in just over 15 minutes from now, so we're definitely powerfully in the energy. For now, we're going to go ahead and close our circle, but we will reconvene in just two weeks from tonight on Friday, July the 23rd, 8 p.m. Eastern for the Aquarius Full Buck Moon Circle. So please come back for that. Let's release the directions. Keep your left palm at heart center, right palm over the top. Take a deep breath into the heart, feeling back into that heartbeat. Feel your heart connecting with the earth and all the people around you in the circle and feel that you are sacred. All is sacred as am I. Bring your palms down to the earth. Give thanks to Pachamama for her support. Palms to the sky. Thanks to Pachatata. Thanks to this Cancer new moon, the stars. Thanks to the north, season of winter, the element of air. Thanks to the west, the season of autumn, the element of water. Thanks to the south, the season of summer, the element of earth. And thanks to the east, the, element, the season of spring, an element of fire. And thank you all for being here. Blessings, new moon blessings to one and all, whether you're here live in this global moon circle or whether you'll be watching later. Thank you for being here, and I see you, the universe sees you and knows that you are putting your effort into this new earth and showing up as a part of it, and that will not go unacknowledged. Rub the palms together at the center of your chest. Press the palms together firmly, bring them into the heart center. We're going to take a deep inhale and close with one long satnam to seal our practice this evening. Deep inhale. Satnam. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, fold forward at the waist, bring the palms, the forehead, and the heart to the earth, releasing your breath, releasing your prayer. And one more time, thanks to Pachamama. Thanks to all of you. And again, two weeks from tonight, July 23rd, we're back here for the full moon circle. Until then, keep working with the intentions, keep working with releasing that resistance. And I wish you a wonderful weekend and a wonderful couple weeks to come until I see you again. Satnam. Aho and Namaste.